due to some um, errands I had to run earlier in the day, I didn't get to my regular writing session until um, relatively late in the evening. Um, and today was not really about me at all <laughs> in terms of the writing. Um, I spent most of my evening actually um, reviewing some works for my critique group. Um, that's going to be meeting up here next week. Um, so I didn't get a chance to really do too much work of anything uh, on my own. It was just mostly doing edits and critiques and small lines here and there. Um, also, <laughs> I, 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 I fairly leave the can the, uh, my cat in the camera shot here for a second. <laughs> um, animals are kind of fickle in that sense, just as a little side note. Um, my cats n almost never tend to appear in these things. Um, and so it's always interesting whenever they, they actually do show up for any of my filming sessions, I'll usually just cut away everything and just put just the sections they're in just because it, it's, <laughs> I feel, I feel like the very least it's, it's some interesting new content. Um, and on a channel where you're sitting at a computer and filming yourself, just typing at a computer, anything interesting, <laughs> um, de definitely helps to keep it in. So, um, but yeah, this evening was just predominantly one of um, doing just, again, critiques and line edits. Um, I know for a lot of people that do critique groups, these tend to be kind of labors of love. They're not necessarily, um, you know, I, I think I don't think most people tend to enjoy this process of at least doing edits um, or, or going through and doing these small critiques. You kind of do it just because I think they're doing, you know, edits for your work and they're critiquing your work. So you're just doing it back just as kind of like, you know, sort of a busy work, but you're doing a favor for someone else. Um, but I will say it's part of it is just the critique group that I'm in right now. They tend to write works that are um, kind of aligned with the same genre that I write. Um, so, I, and they're very, very skilled. Like they're very, very skilled writers. So it's not really so much a labor of love as it is that, I'm just getting an opportunity to really enjoy a handful of stories every single month um, and just, again, get, get a chance to offer my feedback, which is great. I mean, the amount of times you get to actually critique works of other people is so rare, right? You know, I think oftentimes we, you'll, at least for myself, I'll read stories and read books that are, you know, have gotten some sort of fame or, you know, some sort of accolade or just happens to be a really good seller. And I've got, you know, plenty of critiques, plenty of things that, that I think that are wrong with it. And so um, doing the same thing with this, but actually getting a chance to tell the author what I think is awesome. <laughs> um, and, and I guess with that too, if you've been looking at my Goodreads or if you've been following my Goodreads, um, I've actually done more reading, I think in the past like couple weeks than I have for a good portion of the year, which is not saying a whole lot. Um, what had happened basically was I, I think most of the fall I, I was prepping for my chess tournament and I, and I had to um, prep for a certification for my job as well. So a lot of my evenings um, were just spent doing basically everything besides reading, doing a lot of just um, a lot of study and all that stuff in other areas. So now that I get a chance to finally um, kind of unwind and not have to really do anything or no upcoming obligations, um, it's it's fun to get back to just generally reading again. Uh, my, my professor way back when I was doing my MFA had often said that reading is basically replenishing the well for a writer. He had a very sort of yin-yang um, kind of, I guess, Taoist mentality towards writing where, you know, the writing is like the yang energy, right? It's, it's, the, it's the doing part. And reading was the very sort of yin, kind of like the calm sort of element that needs to replenish it, that needs to um, sort of balance out what you're doing. And he would often say if you were stuck, if you had writer's block, if you, if you were sort of burning yourself out on the writing side of things, start reading more just start reading and not even reading to study, not reading to pick apart things, but just read for pleasure. Read several, several books in, in kind of a tight window of time. Just consume your time with that. And you'll find that you'll probably end up getting back to the writing groove eventually there. The idea will come to you. Some sort of spark will come. Uh, something will be, be kind of just do this kind of magical process, at least the way he viewed it, will come to you. Um, and I, I found that that, that that tends to be kind of true. Um, I, I don't know if it's so much the, the kind of magical process of it, but I do think when you are reading, when you are 
taking your mind off the production side of things, the creating side of things, and focusing on the reading, it, it tends to reinvigorate kind of the joy of why you do it. Um, writing is one of those things where I think most people write, but they hate the process. I've mentioned that before. It's like the only thing in the world where um, where people do a profession that they don't enjoy. <laughs> uh, you, you know, I, I, again, I, I, I can't, Outside of the arts, I can't imagine anything else, right? Like, like no baseball player ever procrastinates to avoid going to the baseball field, right? No basketball player ever procrastinates going to a basketball game to play basketball, right? Writers procrastinate to avoid writing. Um, and so I do think that reading tends to reinvigorate that. It tends to bring back kind of the, the sort, sort, sort of joy that you have and the reason why perhaps you, when you were younger, wanted to become a writer, Um Obviously, there are plenty of books that you might read that um, that maybe don't bring that kind of passion, you know, back to you. I, I certainly have gone through long stints where I've read works simply because they were um, more well known works that um, I simply didn't enjoy. I, I, I read them more out of just having to do it. But I do think if you can find things that you enjoy, find books that kind of bring back the the core the core sort of motivations, the the books that when you were a reader that you wished you could have written that sort of thing. If you can get back to that frequently, I, I do think you will eventually get a lot further um, with your writing. And I think it will help you a lot when you get into those spots of just blocks, just, just blocks, whether it's creatively um, or creatively by not figuring out what you're going to do. You just don't know what you're going to do next. You, you know, maybe you um, discovery, right? Maybe you're stuck in a section that you've outlined and you know what needs to be done. You know what the scene needs to do, but you're not sure how to show it. Or simply on the other side of things, like your writing has just gotten stale. Like you, you tend to hate the process of it. You're, you're dreading going to the keyboard. You do it out of just a sense of obligation. You do the busy work. Um, when you're in those sections, especially later on in the process where you're just doing line edits and just making those final copy edits there um, of a manuscript before you're done, all that busy work. Reading can bring back that that sort of motivation, that sort of passion for what you do. Um, I'd Outside of a deadline, I, I think probably reading is probably the best way to motivate yourself, to be honest. Um, obviously, deadlines, self, you know, self-imposed or otherwise, will always push you to get things done because you got to hit that. But Otherwise, reading, like just because it brings out the intrinsic nature and the intrinsic joy of the writing process, of, of it brings out the joy of why you want to create a world and why you want others to experience it. And it shows you what, what you know, you get to see what you wish to create someday. Um, and so with that, I'm going to wrap this up right now. Um, I'll be back tomorrow. I'm actually going to be starting, as a side note, I'm going to start... Um, putting up some lessons for the month of December soon. Uh, I, the only challenge I face with that, and again, this is kind of a long aside, but um, is just the methodology of doing it. The, the way I've been doing it before with the PowerPoints and all that stuff, I like that format. It just doesn't seem to be something that people were connecting with, I don't think. Um, so I got to figure out a different way to present, a different way to kind of show the information. Um, but I do have some lessons coming up um, here in December at some point. I just don't know quite when. Um, but with that, I, I will see you all tomorrow.